Welcome to the fifth and final part of this video series on how to simulate a horn-fed reflector antenna system. In this video, we'll be performing a parametric sweep to essentially see how varying the distance between the horn and reflector changes the directivity of our system. To do so, go to HFSS, Optometrics Analysis, Add Parametric. Here we can perform a parametric sweep, so we're going to add the variable offset. To keep it simple, we're only going to go from 0 to 10 inches as an offset with a step size of 5 inches. Click OK. And in the Calculations tab, we tell ANSYS HFSS that we want to see the 3D directivity. So we set up a calculation. We change the report type from modal solution data to far fields. We use the setup that we have already defined as setup 1 and 3D. We choose directivity in decibels. In the calculation range, we ensure that we select theta 0 degrees, phi 0 degrees, and a frequency of 10 gigahertz. Click on add calculation. You should see this calculation is added to the setup. Now click done. In the options tab, select both of these checkboxes to save the fields and mesh and copy geometrically equivalent meshes. Click OK. Now we're going to change the reference coordinate system for our infinite sphere setup. To do so, find our radiation setup, 3D, in the project manager window and double click it. In the coordinate system tab, make sure that you have used local coordinate system and make it reflect a focus. I've already changed this option. Click OK. Now we're ready to analyze our system. So right click on parametric setup and click analyze. Feel free to pause this video while your simulation completes and note that this simulation may take three times longer than the previous one because we're simulating for three different setups. Now that my simulation is finished, I'm ready to view some results. So let's view analysis results by right clicking on parametric setup one and clicking on view analysis result. Here you can see that increasing the offset was actually decreasing the directivity in decibels at a frequency of 10 gigahertz with references of theta at phi of zero degree. Click close. Now first we view more details about the parametric sweep run. We expand analysis in the project manager window. Right click on setup one and select profile. Here we want to make an important variation which will help us animate the 3D field later on. Click on the ellipsis and uncheck use nominal design. Click OK. You can see details regarding the simulation through these tabs. I'd like you to view them at your own pace. Now let's plot the 3D radiation field for our entire system by going to HFSS, Fields, Plot Fields, Radiation Field. Let's toggle the visibility on. I'd like it to be not very transparent, so I'm going to go with 0.2 and increase the scale up to 0.8. Hit Apply. Hit close. You'll notice that this is just for one of our three offset points. To animate how this field changes, depending on the distance, we're going to go to HFSS, Fields, Animate. Click New. Instead of Phase, you can have your animation based on Offset, for example, and click OK. You can see what happens when it's closer or further away. You can stop and see how the radiation field and reflectors fields look like for a certain position. You can see that the maximum directivity is achieved with this offset of zero inches. To conclude this exercise, in part one and two, we showed you how to create 3D components, the horn and reflector. Part three showed you how to analyze the horn on its own. And parts four and five showed us simulating both the horn and reflector together. Thank you for watching.